a couple I knew uh, many, many years ago um, were having a very difficult time in their marriage and, and with good reason because both of them were alcoholic. Um, but instead of really focusing on the problem of the alcoholism, they focused on what was wrong with the other person. And one day they found themselves with a priest um, talking about what was going wrong in their marriage. And um, the gentleman in this relationship um, you know, finished talking to the priest and then he looked at the priest and something remarkable transpired. He saw in the gaze of the priest at him, the gaze of Christ looking at him with tremendous mercy and with love. It so um, touched him so deeply and was out of completely left field for him that it left him shaken. And very soon afterwards, he gave up the drinking and um, before too long, his wife joined him in sobriety. And their marriage then, when I met them, had lasted um, into their 80s. Um, a really remarkable point of being gazed at by somebody else and finding in that gaze, the gaze of Christ. Um, when someone goes to pray in the spiritual exercises, St. Ignatius recommends this, and we've talked about this um, before. He says, a step or two away from the place where I will make my contemplation or meditation. I will stand for the length of an hour, Father. I will raise my mind and think how God our Lord is looking at me and other such thoughts. In other words, before coming to pray, St. Ignatius recommends we um, stand for a moment and we think that God is looking at me. The gaze of God, that tenderness, that love, that's goodness to be there in that gaze. Um, if we change this into something that can be um, remarkably Christmas, we know when you hold a baby, often the baby's eyes will, will open and the baby will focus on your face. What's going on in the baby's mind, we do not know. But if we move a little bit, the baby's eyes will follow our movement. And before too long, after a month or so, the baby will begin to um, try to communicate through laughter, through smiling, um, through other ways. The child somehow allows us to know that we have been recognized. Um, if we think of holding the Christ child and being gazed at with those eyes, which are both the eyes of the, of, of the, the, the Jesus, 100% human, and the eyes of God, 100% God, um, there's something even more profound in that gaze. A gaze that could sear into our hearts and allow us to know that the Lord is with us at each moment of our lives because the Lord has taken our flesh, um, has taken um, the blood that flows in our veins as his own bloodline, that the Lord in a real sense breathes the air that we breathe. Um, and so when we go to pray, or even as we find a quiet moment in our day, let's do what St. Ignatius recommends that we do, to stop for a moment and to be aware that God is gazing at us, not to judge us, not as perhaps we were raised, the Lord is always looking at you and checking on what you're doing. No, the Lord is gazing with love. And as we now contemplate the Christ child, to think that love was expressed through the gaze of a baby. And that love continues to be expressed to us in the loving gaze of God. And that's the wisdom of St. Ignatius for today.